In this quest integration video, we are going to discuss the property tab builder. Now, a lot of us still go to file properties in order to add metadata associated with our file. The property tab builder on the right hand side is an easy way to associate information or metadata consistently to maintain standards and make sure everything is in the proper format. And it goes right back to the same place you know and love, file properties. But what about when it comes time to make drawings? Well, of course, we've been able to reuse this information from a part and link it into an assembly so that it populates some of this data in our title block. But what about those other approval fields, checked by engineering approval or any other approvals that we need to call out on this drawing? We can still use that property tab to associate any other piece of information as needed. Applying this information links to those linked notes to make sure that we're using consistent, correct information every time. Now, the property tab is very flexible, and we can put in almost any piece of information that we want using the property tab builder. Let's go ahead and open up the existing one I used for the part. As you can see, there are multiple fields here for the creation, for the created date, but also each of these items have configuration controls with them. For instance, what type of list it is, what type of text field. But we can go beyond this and add checkboxes, radio buttons, to really make it easy for the end users of SolidWorks to put in the correct and accurate information associated with the file that they're working on. And we can create this property tab for parts, assemblies, drawings, and even weldments. Keep in mind, some of these properties we can even control to be overall to the file or configuration specific. 